Libra, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon Tarot. Follow and like for a daily pick a card and card of the day. Libra, there is no gender in tarot. This is something you could have gone through already. You could be going through it now. Go through it in the future. This is a collective reading. So there's a lot of Libras out there. I could be pulling on somebody else's energy. If it doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. It's just not our turn to dance. You could have your cross watcher in your energy and it could resonate for them and not you. That's okay. You can tell me it doesn't resonate. You can negate my reading. I do not have a problem with that. None whatsoever because it is a collective reading. I don't expect it to resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, give me a thumbs up. Keeps me in the algorithm. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, power. Well, well, well. Aren't they just a ball of laughs? Hmm. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, power. That's because your light bothers their demons. You keep at it. You keep doing you. I got a six of pentacles sideways, and I've got a ten of pentacles sideways. One this way, one that way. So we can take that either way. Six of pentacles. Equal give and take, or being breadcrumbed. Up, upright and um, reversed. And ten of pentacles. One of the happiest cards in the deck. You're doing really well. This is family money, inheritance, and reversed. Your money sucks. So you take that how, however it resonates, if it resonates at all. Your light is bothering somebody's demons. Will you keep on shining? You just keep on shining. It doesn't have to be your person. It can be somebody around you. It could be family. You're going to hear some gossip. They're going to be somebody running at the mouth. Somebody's got your name in their mouth. Mm. <laughs> I'm not, not going to speak on this yet. Okay, well. Somebody, you're going to hear some gossip, maybe. Somebody's gossiping. I think you're going to hear some gossip. Somebody, You're going to hear somebody spoke on you. Not nice. Brutal, actually. They could have told your business, but in not a nice way. It's going to be very hurtful and cutting. On, done on purpose. This is absolutely done on purpose to crush you. It may be getting back to you also on purpose. There's a decision that needed to be made that cannot be made. Kind of at a crossroads stalemate. Person didn't make it. Aquarian energy. Got fire energy, Aquarian energy. This person, King of Swords reversed, is a real bastard. They go out of their way to hurt people on purpose. It put you into Virgo energy, which is laying low on your own, hermiting, being all by yourself, getting some enlightenment, trying to heal. You're dealing with a narcissist. You have dealt or and are dealing with a narcissist. So yes, this person is definitely an emperor and an empress reversed. This, can, this is a little bizarre. I help. I got things falling all over the place. Emperor and Empress reversed. That's a matched pair. But with the King of Swords reversed, that is definitely narcissistic. 
I don't think you're a narcissist as well, an empress reversed, somebody that is not fruitful, somebody that um, could be a bad mother, but somebody that's not fruitful. Let's finish pulling. Jesus. Not going to take it. Okay. So you're going to hear something. You're going to hear gossip about yourself. I believe it's going to be about yourself because somebody's out there with your name in their mouth. You are meant to hear this. They want you to hear it. They're out there to hurt you. A decision needed to be made that was not made. I think it was not made on purpose. Again, to hurt you. This person is malicious. They're brutal. They do it on purpose. I think you withdrew into yourself because this person beat you down. The Empress is Taurus and Libra energy. It's both. It's You can represent both of you. But I have a reversed Empress. This person put you... The Empress is the highest card in the deck. Doesn't get off their throne for anybody. The Emperor comes to them. The Empress will get out of the chariot, chariot and go to the Empress. Because the Empress is the pinnacle, top drawer. This person beat you down. Emotionally. Verbally. Your self-esteem. Hopefully not physically, but they made you feel really less than. They're a narcissist, absolutely, 100% a narcissist. I hope they didn't lay hands, but this very well could be because I have a king of swords reversed and they, they can, they are, they, they are, they're a beast. They're, they're brutal. They're a brutal person. It's not just narcissistic tendencies. They are, they're, they're brutal. They're a warrior, but they are in the reverse. So there is no head over heart decision. Emotions are repressed. No, this person, they are sadistic and they take pleasure in causing other people problems and distress and pain. And this person I'm hoping that was not physical. Could have been um, a sexual congress against your will. In other words, rape. Date rape, marital rape. That happens, if you don't know that. Marital rape does happen. They could have love-bombed you at first. Been all up in your business. And then nothing, absolutely nothing, dropped you. Didn't know where they didn't know where they were. That's called cognitive dissonance. They're all into you, and then you got nothing. It's a tactic that narcissists use to scramble your brains, pretty much. It's kind of like um, Pavlov's dog, you know. You're going to give them a treat and give them a treat and give them a treat. And then you don't give them a treat. And then when you blow the whistle, you give them a treat, you give them a treat. And they get to know that when you're blowing that whistle, they're getting a treat. So this person was grooming you to... This person was grooming you to have Stockholm Syndrome. This person was grooming you to enjoy their bad behavior of you, if that makes sense. Kind of doesn't make sense, but I think they put you so far down. We're just going to say with self-esteem, because all of those other things go along with it. They tried to break you. I don't see that that happened, but they tried. A reversed empress is, it's not great. But at the end of the day, you're still an empress. The only thing you need to do is remember who you are. A decision has to be made. 
it's going to be made. I have a two of wands here. That's not a stalemate. That is making the decision. The decision is this is not going to come back together. You're making the decision of breaking this off if it is not already broken off. If they have love bombed you, brought you into a connection with them, giving you the devaluation, and now they're trying to hoover you back in after they have broken you down, you're going to, re I don't see you remembering who you are yet. I think you tried, but you're not there yet. They're going to try to hoover you back in. Your decision is, it's a no-go. When you have judgment, judgment is the final decision. Judgment is the decision that is going to define the rest of your life. Two of Wands is a decision. Yeah, you're going to make that decision. But you know what? Those decisions, those are the types of decisions that you can change. All right, I'm going to date this person marry this person we're going to be together but sometimes things don't work out and eventually maybe you're going to have a divorce when you make a decision on judgment that's a decision that you stand on this is the final judgment this is something that stays with you if not for a lifetime then for a long time this is reversed so your decision with this two of wands is making this the decision of judgment you're not bringing something back from the dead you are not reviving something you're not saying Lazarus it's Jesus Christ rise up you're not doing that so you're finding who you are again S slowly but surely you're finding you're finding your footing again when you have been through narcissistic abuse the person you were, were before that person and the person that you are now are two different people because your brain has been rewired. So it's going to take you a hot minute to do things. You're not going to do them the same way. So you might have thought before you met this type of a person, somebody treats me bad, you know what, fuck them. Get out of my life. There's too many. Move aside. You're holding up the line. That type of an attitude once you've been involved with some with this type of Machiavellian mind fuckery and that's basically what it is um, if you want to if you want to learn a little bit more just for shits and giggles listen to HG Tudor H as in Harold G as in Gordon Tudor as in like King Henry the eighth Tudor on YouTube he is a narcissist and he explains it and it's it's quite entertaining um it tells you quite about quite a bit about narcissistic people and the different types but you are you are for you are forever changed you're going to look at people a lot differently you're going to protect yourself a lot differently and this has definitely been a lesson most lessons are blessings. One day you're going to look at this and say that you have been blessed. Not now. Not now. And yes, your light definitely irritated this person's demons. It definitely did. NPD is not and it's not something that's actually diagnosed I don't think yes I don't think mental illness I don't think it's a mental illness that actually comes with a diagnosis it is it is something that they can they can determine and say yes this person has it but I don't think it's actually considered a mental illness <coughs> with like a diagnosis code they know that I mean psychologists psychiatrists say Yes, this person is a narcissist, and they are aware of all the things that go along with it, but I don't think that somebody actually gets a ICD-10 code to go along with it and a prescription. I don't think because you can't. A person doesn't stop being a narcissist. It's not like schizophrenia, schizophrenia that they can give you 
medication work, you know, I mean, you might still always be schizophrenic, but you can control it. Narcissists you can become aware that they're narcissists. Some of them never do. And that's, that's part of their narcissism. But they either become aware that they're a narcissist and say, oh, this is a narcissistic tendency. Let me not behave that way. Very rarely. But anyway, listen to H.G. Tudor if you want to get a little bit of information. Just, just for shits and giggles if you, if you have time. Anyway, you're not reviving this. Lazarus, Lazarus is staying dead. This person is going to hoover you back. He's going to come back, not as brutal as here. It's, again, Aquarian energy. Now he's the Knight of Swords. He's not the King of Swords reversed. He's still going to have a slick-ass mouth, a little bit more charming, in and out quickly, a bully, saying what he needs to say, but more charming, trying to reel you back in. And you're standing firm that it's a no. Death reversed. You are closing that door and you are going to move forward onto something better. Because anything is better than this. You're going to have to go completely no contact with this person. If you don't have children with them, it'll be much easier. But they cannot, narcissists cannot stand if you're shining. They're going to pick and choose bits and pieces of your personality to reflect out and mimic. So pay attention to that if you have not actually gotten out of this relationship yet. You'll, you'll hear your words or catchphrases that they use because they're, they're empty. So they, they mimic other people. And yes, they most certainly would be a spiritual hater. They would make fun of you for that. And your light definitely irritates their demons. There is there's, there's no doubt in my mind. So Libra, this is your reading. I'm going to leave it here. You need to follow through on this. Gray rock them, which means absolutely no contact. It's the only way you're going to heal. Block, move. Cut off all contact whatsoever if, if, you're, if, if it's possible. And work on healing yourself. Because there was nothing wrong with you. You just fell victim to someone that who would ever think. Because it's not how they presented themselves. And they will rewrite history. And they will, they will absolutely tell lies about you and make you out to be the horrible, most horriblest person in the world. You'll hear rumors about yourself that your mouth will drop open and you're like, I can't believe that somebody would say this about me. And yes, they do that. They do. They lie horribly and they will paint you black. Libra, this is your reading. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if it resonates. Give me a thumbs up if it does. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon Tarot. I do a daily pick a card and card of the day.